I can't believe how good it is. Just wow. Just the amount of surprises. It's just jam-packed with surprises and clever tricks and holy moly. I think before I would have said an out of the, an out of wilds two doesn't feel necessary, but now I'm sort of like I mean if they keep doing stuff like this, I would play an out of wilds two. I would play another DLC, however they want to do it. I would do like playing another solar system, anything. Just like keep making these worlds that are this wild. Out of wilds, it's so cool. Okay, I've got a plan. This feels like this could be it. I don't know. What happens after I, after I open the thing? This is it? I'm nailing that rotation now. <laughs> Because you don't want to hold the rotation the whole time, otherwise you go way too fast and you go past it. But you just press it a little bit and then let the rotation continue by itself. You land exactly the way you want to. Okay, so die in the Witch's Hut. Uh, I need to grab a thing first. I have not done that in a way. I don't need another boat. I'm fine. I don't need a boat. Okay, let's go out this way. <laughs> How did I make such a big splash? I was on dry land. Die, die, die. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> the only time you have to intentionally kill yourself in the game. Hey, I was burning on that fire. Okay, get on the boat. I have to go around here. Oh, nope, around here. Across this platform. Do this. Okay. Does it matter which one I fall out through? Don't know. This is this one feels a little bit less natural than the other ones. Like it, it's cool that there is a loading zone that you can fall through the floor in. But why does it put me in the particular location that I end up? Maybe there is a good explanation. But I think I'm gonna keep going until I get to that same one. Or maybe I should just find out what happens if I fall here. Let's just do it. So they're having their concert right now. There we go. That's no, the same. Yeah, it's the same. Just need to go over here. There's nothing else around, right? Where's all this stuff? I don't want to fall down. Is that the tower? Or is, is that a building I've been in? Like, I'm not quite sure how all these places are connected up, connected up together. 
Now I've lost track of where I'm actually going. Is there somewhere here? Yeah, okay. Okay. This is the middle one, yep. And I'm dead so I can <laughs> not listen to stuff because I don't have ears or a brain. I guess I do have ears, but I don't have a functioning brain. Light all the candles. Yep, there we go. So this will not wake me up. <laughs> and I can't hear it. I love that I can't hear it. And I won't be able to hear the um like the dam breaking and stuff as well, will I? I'm presuming I'll still hear the end of time music. Because that's not like actually in the world, <laughs> that's just the game. That's so genius. And then this one, oh, I need to do the thing. Such cool tricks, they all are so cool. And I didn't actually have to learn three codes. That's so fun. Well, maybe I should do this with my thing. Yeah. Just walk, trust it, and go. Yep. So neat. I love how it also makes sense that there could have been codes and, you know, that would have turned off that light and it probably would have brought the boat to you or something. But, like, yeah, I've, like, broken the system. <laughs> okay. What now? <laughs> I guess I go and turn that wheel? What am I even doing? What did they put in there? I have zero ideas about what might be in this thing. Okay. Let's do it. Do I go in? Is there space for me? It looks like it's a door and it goes somewhere. Oh gosh, please don't scare me. Why is it so dark? Where are we going? I am continuing somewhere. There's a wall, there's a floor. What's that? Stairs down? <laughs> Where on earth are we going? Can't see a thing. Okay. There's light. There's a telescope. Yes, candles turn on please. There's a door on the other side. Is there a hole down there? Who's there? Why did you open? I can't look in this thing. Is you open because I'm here? Oh, so you're looking up at the planet, right? Guess I'll do this. Uh oh, this goes down. Why did they steal this away? What is this place? Pick this back up. Yep, there's another one. 
lit. There's somebody here. There's somebody. Somebody's put that thing down. Somebody's put that thing down and walked away. What? Whoa. Hello? Be friendly. Don't hate me. Talk to the prisoner? Who are you? We can't communicate. Oh yeah, there was a way down. This is below. Why are you being kept here? What? Oh, you're going to communicate something to me. Yep. What? Okay. Wake up here. Oh, there was one empty bed, wasn't there? You went to the squid thing. And you turned it off. Oh my gosh. You destroyed them all? Or what? Why did you do that? They locked you in there? With a telescope? And they put that back on, okay. Okay. Okay, tell me more. Tell me more. Now what? Already holding artifacts. Oh my gosh, can I tell you something? <laughs> what am I projecting right now? What? Can you, like, have a look? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, final part of the story. The Harthian. Right. They all died. That all decayed. So it was them opening the thing that made the Nomai come here. And therefore none of the rest of the stuff would have happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> <clears throat> the interloper came, killed them all, but then along comes the Harthian. So the prisoner is actually responsible for me being able to do everything that I did. We're assuming. Maybe the Nomai heard the signal from before. <laughs> oh, is that me growing up? And then I set off in my ship, because the original ship wasn't my ship. Is that the whole thing?
He's saying to come with you? Oh, give. Can you leave now? Are you just gonna stay here? Wait, you've gone up in the elevator. Hey, wait, wait. Wait. Now I'm here. Now I can't actually save the universe. You're up at the top. Leaving. Oh, the elevator's coming right down. <laughs> well, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> Wait, so you were down here somewhere. Oh, you're just in that chair. Okay. I sort of missed the beginning of your animation. So they let you have access to this telescope. That's nice, I guess. <laughs> Where are you? I guess I've let you out. I hope they're not too mad about that. But I mean, you actually helped us. What? 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 What suddenly made that go out? Uh, that wasn't the end, right? What was that? Uh, I'm really confused. That did not feel like an ending. What? We ran out of time. Why did my light? Why did my fire go out? Uh. Do I have to go back in? What would have made my fire go out? There was no water? Nothing blew it out? Like, surely I'm expecting to see credits or something. Credits for the DLC. Huh? <laughs> what? Confused. Do I go back and do it again? Or is that an ending? I'm... Um, uh, but I feel like I had the major cutscene for the end. Why did my light go out? I mean, it doesn't take long to get back in, I guess. <laughs> I'm confused. Okay. Oh. Oh, I rotated the wrong way. Oh, I also shot my scouts. I don't want to take pictures. I took another picture. Come back to me, scouts. Okay, what? What is going on? <laughs> It didn't feel like an ending, but then why did the fire go out? Did I do the wrong thing, or...? Am I going back in? <laughs> like maybe because it's DLC you don't get credits? But you just get the credits at the end of the game, like the normal credits? I 
do not know. Guess we might be seeing the ending again. Or the not ending again. Well, it certainly wasn't running out of time. I don't think. Okay, jump in. But also, my flame going out... Oh yeah, yeah, of course my flame going out would actually kill me. Oh, yeah, so that sort of makes sense. Like, I died to rescue that prisoner and tell them that they actually helped us, but it doesn't really help them at all. I mean, it freed them from the prison, <laughs> but not permanently because I'm in a loop. So what? <laughs> We're in a loop. So in this loop, you're not free from the prison. You're still, uh, oops, that way around. You're still stuck there. So sure, when my thing gets blown out, I die, but then the loop resets. Guess we'll just see if the same thing happens. If the same thing happens, then I guess that's the end. I'll have to maybe Google or something to see. Okay. But surely, like, different people might have worked on this DLC, or like, almost certainly would have done, right? Go fall through the map, which allows me to walk on water. So unless they've updated the credits to have the DLC credits in it as well. Hmm. Hmm. I'm unsure. I did die coming in, right? Yes, I think so. Is it on autopilot? Yes, it is. I have no brain. You can't wake me up. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I have no brain. You can't wake me up. Ha ha ha. But yeah, I can't see how there could be like much of a more positive ending for me here because I'm to do this. I'm dead. I have to die to free this prisoner. But still, just the way it ended like that was odd. But then what else extinguishes my fire? Oh, what am I doing? I need to do this. I guess I could remember it. I think I wrote it down, didn't I? Yep. Let's do it in this mode now. Okay. Yeah, that elevator comes from up there. And there's light shining through. I wonder if I, from above I could see where that light's coming through from. So I can be up there. Can I find that hole? Okay. Back in we go. Down here, nothing to be worried about. It's the steps. Well, now we're on the steps. I almost wasn't sure as well if did I accidentally release the button too early or something? Did my finger slip off? What makes the door open? Lighting all the candles, maybe? Is there a reason for the telescope? I don't know. I feel like we could say so much more to each other. 
This will, this will give me an opportunity to see the whole animation, because <laughs> I just turned around. Okay. Hello. Okay, I see a hand grabs it. Maybe he was expecting me to be one of the others. Where are we? At least you've got an instrument you can play. <laughs> Could be worse. You got an instrument, you got a bed, you got a telescope. What else do you need? Huh? Okay, let's just watch this again, see what happens. Yes, yeah, so you came out of there and ruined everything. Okay, so I have a full explanation for the squid and the... I don't have a full explanation for the other mission room where there's the different stages and why that's happening. Like, that's my one remaining mystery and I think I'm done with the, like, actual gameplay, so... What on earth is happening there? Maybe I should go back to it and see. Okay. So you sent out those signals, and then those are the signals that I'm suggesting the Nomai might have seen. Okay, let's make sure I don't accidentally, like, let go. <laughs> I didn't think I did. But we'll watch it again just in case. Hey, there's that four-point star. Yep. This is a cool rendition of the music. Well, that's interesting. That suggests that they left the thing after it got stuck. I didn't imagine it like that. I imagine they'd left... Hmm, actually, yeah, I guess it has to have happened like that. Yeah, okay. And they just managed to get out of the dark ramble. Wonder which um Harthian this is. Could I figure it out based on how they look? Probably somebody could. I guess this is young me. <laughs> My ears change. I guess it's good to see this a second time anyway. And I blast off. And then it ends. It ends. Okay, I did, definitely did not let go. I definitely did not let go. And then you ask for it back. What if I leave? What if I put this on the floor? And then I go ahead of you. Where is it? No, 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 no. I totally could have done, in theory. No. What if I give you this instead? Oh, off that does not fit. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Ah, no, it doesn't let me go through. What would have happened if I'd gone ahead? So this must be it then. And then my flame gets extinguished. I guess I could just live here. I've got a musical instrument, I've got a telescope, what else could I need? <laughs> I'm, I guess I'm just gonna see if I walk up the stairs, does my flame get extinguished? If it does, I guess that is how it ends. This is a bit of a, an abrupt ending. Do anything with this, right? I think so. Okay. I'll conceal it. You can't extinguish it if it's concealed. No, I'm at the top. Okay. So, what happened? That was weird. Okay, you flash your thing here for me. What? What happens? Are we getting on the boat together? And riding up into the sunset. <laughs> I didn't see you. Where did you go? Where actually are you? Why did you leave us here? Come back. I'm confused. I'm still confused. My light didn't go out this time, but I'm still confused. Oh wait, did my fire go out? Because I'm in the... I'm in the... yeah. That explains why that fire went out. Because I'm in the... 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 Witch's hut. What do I do now? Grab this? I can't grab it anymore. Okay, it's stuck in the ground, I guess. Is it? Not really, but I can't grab it. Where are you? I thought you were there then. Got on the boat? Cross over? Maybe I should leave? I could jump in the water. Oh no, but if I leave I die. That's it. What? <laughs> Are you up here? So if the dam breaks, I wake up, right? And I'm dead. Did you go up? Mm, no, because I didn't come down this way, so... But the thing was there, as I was supposed to go across that way? I am so confused. Dam's totally gonna break again. Maybe I should go in one that gives me more time. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I feel like this is supposed to like be a a full dramatic ending sequence. I mean, I guess if I go in the other one. And have the longer time to do stuff, I might find more stuff to do. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so, yeah, let's just, 
yeah, we're back. Continue to be confused by the ending. What? What might be the ending, I guess? Okay, so I can guess, I guess I have another way of doing this. I can die in the hotel place and get more time because I can get to a boat from there. What would they even do from where I was? Wake up? Did they wake up? Maybe they woke up, but I can't wake up, I'm dead. And they can't wake up, they're also... That doesn't explain the empty thing, because they, they get brought back into the dream world somehow. Oh yeah, they get put into the thing. That does explain the empty bed, because their actual body is inside the uh, thing that they brought through. The wardrobe. <laughs> the tower with the locks on it. Okay. But I'm dead. I have to be dead to do any of this. So therefore I can't come out and see them escape. I can't tell if like I've seen everything or not. Guess I'll take it again? Okie dokie. Uh, but not going in this one. Going in... The one in the canyon. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's totally fine. I don't need to open the door in the witch's hut at all. Not quite sure what the rule was in the witch's hut um, place where I like followed them through the tunnel to where they seem to be singing and playing musical instruments or whatever. Whoa, I went underwater a lot there. Um, they just weren't there when I went through the fire. I must have just arrived at exactly the right time or something. Okay, so it's definitely the one in the canyon, yeah? Yeah? I think so. I think it is. Yeah, definitely, okay. I don't know whether I finished the game or not. I mean, I could check the ship log, but I would like to totally make sure I know what's happened at the end there. Okay, I think we're safe. Despite that being as bumpy as it was. Yep, we're good. Let's realise these are like three things on a on the top of a post, rather than one sphere. Yeah, it's like three different sensors. Okay... Up here... But they're just gone. <laughs> like that's just as abrupt as the ending where the light goes out. <laughs> but abrupt in a different way. It doesn't like suddenly kill me, but... Obviously that wasn't an ending, but it felt like it could have been just a weird ending, but... but then, there, then there was that sunset video. Which, which clearly shows that there's actually more to the ending than what I was, what I thought. But then suddenly there's nothing after that. So strange. Okay, so this place, this way first. Done this quite a few times now. Back this way. Did 
Down we go. We go all the way around here and do this. I guess it doesn't really take that long, does it? It's quite a short loop. Especially when you know there's no danger. Despite the noises. What's with the music? Do I normally get this music here? Go. Over here on the right. Okay. Back over. Across here. Now I can do the glitch. Oh, I need to be dead. Uh, it's fine. I can just. Back in. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, just dropping some water. Because all that stuff will still be set up, it's fine. It's totally fine. Okay. I need to be dead. I will check the ship log eventually, but <laughs> I don't understand what's going on here. Very confusing ending. If it's an ending, is it an ending? <laughs> I'm assuming it's an ending. <laughs> it feels like one. Mostly, except for where it doesn't actually end. Okay. Pretty sure I was being woken up by the dam breaking, although I couldn't hear the dam. Oh, I can't hear the dam breaking because I don't have a brain. Yes, okay, that makes sense. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. So I was being woken up by the dam breaking, but there's there something else I can do? That's the question. Or is that it? Is there something else that like clearly marks the ending of the thing? Okay, this time I've got all the time in the world. Such so there's still a mystery. I thought I'd, I thought I'd found the ending, but I don't know. Oh gosh, almost fell in. That was reckless. Okay, go across here. I can't hear anything because I'm dead. <laughs> Are you out? And then do the other one. Put this down. I remember this time. You can tell we're in a cave because there's stalic. Tight, stalagmite, whatever it is. I will never remember which one's which. I've mentioned that in previous videos before, and I remember somebody saying, Oh, you remember it like this? I didn't remember the way to remember it. <laughs> I 
What happens if I go in like this? Oh, I guess I can't go down the thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess I can still see what it's like. <laughs> yep, stairs down. Ooh. Oof, that could wake me up. I should be careful. Okay, I can't see down. Even though that is... I guess it's glass, so it shows up here like that. Okay. Oh yeah, there's two ways that's a problem. I need to light the candles, I think. Turns out this place is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. <laughs> Okay, down we go. I'm gonna watch it again. Oh, it's open. Wait, maybe I don't have to do the candles. Hello, I'm here. I've met you before, but you haven't met me before. <laughs> Who are you? It's over here. There you go, go grab it. Did you just light that light? I think you did. Could I have lit that light? I've got the same thing as you. Oh, I don't need to put that down. Not yet. Okay. Oops. I think I have to watch it. Okie dokie. I wonder why you did this though. That's not explained. Oh, you're missing an antler, I just noticed. I think, at least in that picture you were. So I guess the, the timeline here is that this was way before even the Nomai happened. Well, it was not way before, just before, but these existed for some time before the Nomaias came anywhere near the solar system. There's more so there's more solar systems being shown there, that's pretty interesting. Okay, let me tell you my story. Again. <laughs> So they died naturally, it wasn't from the from the thing. The eye. I guess it is just cloaked. It must just be cloaked, I think. I like how the frames are matched with the beat of the music. What planet is this supposed to be? I guess it's supposed to just represent any planet really. Yeah. 
Here I am. It's funny that if I let go of the button, it's, this stops. I have to start it again. At least that's what happened the first time. Maybe it doesn't happen at this point, but I'm not going to dare let him go. Okay. Oh yeah, I want to see what happens if I... Uh, I have to give you this first, right? Oh no, no, no. I just want to go ahead. See ya. Is this a mistake? I guess like nothing's gonna happen, it's gonna leave and nothing's changed. So let's just go down. It's not like there's gonna be some different ending. I just left you in there. Like a terrible person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to do that, it was a mistake. Go ahead. Vision torch. So you're saying thank you, I guess. <laughs> so presumably I have a fair bit more time, but I don't know how much. <laughs> To discover what? Like, there's nothing else to do? What's there? I guess after this, if I can't see anything to do, I'm just gonna have to look up. <laughs> Am I missing something? So the problem is, the first time I came here, it's it set me up to not understand whether I'm like missing something. I didn't have to conceal here, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just in case that was relevant. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't. But yeah, like the first time I came here, because the torch went out, that made me think, oh. I must have missed something, and I had. So now I'm thinking, I must have missed something, and I don't know if I have or not. Okay, this again. We sail off into the sunset. You got your telescope with you, I see. It's not this boat. Like, why is it in this position, though? I guess you say so you see it when you come out of the thing? But like, it's next to this boat, for a reason or no reason? Like, I didn't see you around. Can I lock it again? Nope. Well, you're not here. I guess you've probably just... Did you just go into the water and wake up? It could just be that. But you're not going to be alive anymore. <laughs> Are you aware of that? We're all dead. You need to stay inside here. Well, I'm dead too. There's nobody over here. You just need to hang out here. I cannot tell if this has ended or not. Like the going to the sunset thing is like a classic ending, but... Huh? I need to make sure I don't wake up for any reason. Are you up here? Be 
you've left your vision thing behind, so we're not going to be able to communicate anyway, even if you are here. And you're not. <laughs> Is this the end or not? I'm so confused. <laughs> I can't do anything with the fire up there. If I die in the fire, I die in real life. I mean, I think you're gone, right? Maybe you just killed yourself and I didn't effectively communicate to you that everybody's dead <laughs> and that you're now dead you could have stayed here just like all your friends I guess they aren't your friends but what? <laughs> okay I'm gonna have to look something up this is just confusing like what? I'm not sure if I should be expecting more or not I'll try and look stuff in a way that doesn't spoil anything for me Okay. All right. Uh, I asked my friend, um, and I think I'm done. <laughs> I think this is it. <laughs> Very confusing. I feel like there needs to be something that more clearly says this. There's nothing left, because even when my flame went out, I was like, "Oh, that could have been the ending, if it was just abrupt." But then there's a second just as abrupt ending, which makes it very confusing. Uh, so sorry to have made you watch the ending three times, but that's just what ends up happening when it's not that clear if it ends. So, okay, my understanding is there are additional endings um, that are kind of like the additional endings that the main game had that I never encountered. Um, and I don't know if I particularly care to do it, but it's more about like, the universe ending, or oh, sorry, the, the sun going supernova in certain circumstances. Um, wait, I'm curious. Meditating is an option, despite the fact that I'm dead. <laughs> My consciousness meditates? Is meditation purely a thing that happens in your consciousness? It's not a physical thing at all. Um, so I think there's additional, like, kind of secret endings. But I'm okay, I don't need to see those. No, I, I've seen the ones from the main game and it's just like, it puts some text on the screen <laughs> because you ended the universe in a certain way. It's, it's fine by me. But I will, however, do this. And let's go take a look at the ship log, I think. I think that'd be fun. Like I wouldn't normally do it, but I think it would be interesting to see because like nothing was named, I had no, no information given to me. Uh, it'd be interesting to understand what on earth anything means. Also, the five-step procedure for, for whatever that was, <laughs> like in that mission table thing where we we're in step two. <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> I'm wondering if the ship log will explain it to me. And then, I think we are done. Um, I mean, yeah, what a cool game. Other than the ending being really confusing. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can fault anything else. Like, I know some people did not enjoy the stealth stuff at all. I didn't mind it. Like, it's not my favorite kind of gameplay, but I thought it was a pretty unique take on it, making it so dark and terrifying. Um, and it wasn't so long that I was, like, tired of it or anything. It could have been worse, for sure. Like, I I mean, I, I still enjoyed it, though, generally. I guess we'll put this on just so I don't forget later. But okay, let's do this. Endless Canyon, Symbol Room, Map Projection 3, Slide Burning Room, Map Projection 3, 2? 1, 2. So, yep, yep, something Forbidden Archive. Forbidden Archive. So that's the, oh, that's the libraries, okay. Oh, that's not as many things as expecting. <laughs> okay. There's no markers that say there's like stuff left, right? Are there any anywhere? That'd be funny if there's stuff in the old game that says, I mean, it just says there's information I haven't read. Oh. 
What? There's more to explore than know my grave. What? What? What could that possibly be? Um, there's nothing more to explore here, though. Okay, let's read some of this stuff. The radio tower. Sure. The radio tower designed to receive photos taken by the deep space, deep space satellite. There are several photos of the entire solar system hanging on the walls. Hornfels noticed something strange in one of the photos, but concluded the equipment malfunction was the only sensible explanation. Stranger. Massive artificial ring world, hi ring world hidden within some sort of cloaking... Okay, it is just a cloaking device. It does not appear to be Hothian or no Mayan in origin. That's surprising to me. I thought we were teleporting somewhere, but I, I, I guess I was wrong. An enormous reservoir. Sorry, where am I now? Okay, enormous reservoir with wooden piers and buildings on both shores. I found a room with a burned control interface, a projection that seems to indicate a broken connection between the stranger and another craft. A broken connection. I mean, that's just guess to stop me from controlling it. That's the thing that's like. That's the uh, the squid. I found a projection that shows the stranger moving beyond the reach of the supernova. Did you? Found the projection shows a stranger moving beyond the reach of the supernova. The slide reel shows that a strange fault being cased in a large metal structure and lowered underwater. Nearly all the slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. Large metal structure suspended by chains. It can be, what's it called? Submerged structure. Okay. It can be entered by swimming from below. There is a sealed vault illuminated by green fire inside the structure. Subterranean lake. Discover the vast subterranean lake beneath the submerged structure. The sealed vault is resting on the shore of the lake. There are three interfaces, each marked with one of the three symbols from the vault. I rotate the mechanism in front of the vault, causing it to strain against the chains, holding it shut. Moments later, rays of green light spilled out of the vault. Wait, was that you shining your, your vision stick thing out of the thing? I met one of the stranger's inhabitants who was imprisoned within the vault. The prisoner showed me a vision revealing the actions that they took resulted in their internal confinement. I used the vision torch to share my knowledge of the solar system's history with the prisoner. Right. River Lowlands. A low-lying region, near near region near the entrance to the stranger. There are wooden buildings along the banks of the river. I found several ornate metal artifacts inside the workshop surrounded by ghost matter. Yep. This is the main starting place. A slide reel that shows the origin of the stranger and its inhabitants. Several slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. A room full of burned slide reels piled next to a strange device. I found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The figure follows a procession of green lights through a forest to a candlelit building where they carry a container into a secret passage behind the roaring fireplace. Yep, yeah, procession. A library full of intact slide reels hidden deep underground. There is a container marked with one of the vault seals but its content has been destroyed. Contents have been destroyed. I found a slide reel that shows the origin of the stranger and its inhabitants. Intact slides reveal the sacrifice that was made to build the stranger, right? That was pretty dramatic. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows one of the stranger's inhabitants jumping off a raft during a transition between areas of falling below the world. I mean, it's so fun to see this stuff without it being explained to me <laughs> through the ship log. A dense forest along the banks of the river. I heard music coming from the candlelit building across the water. I found a co covered bridge leading into the darkest part of the forest. Dense forest along the banks of the river. You're right, okay, yep. I found a covered bridge leading into the darkest part, part of the forest. Yep. Uh, okay. Symbol room. Secret room filled with wooden containers marked with different symbols. Three. This is the hidden room at the top of the tower. Three of the containers are marked with the glowing vault seals, but their contents have been burned away. I opened the container marked with the symbol of the burning slide reel and found... Uh, uh, oh, that's why it's on fire! <laughs> okay, because they burned the slide reels. Yes, I see. And so they built a building with an icon in it to represent the fact that they did that? I mean, that's a bit weird. I opened the container and marked with the symbol of the burning slide reel and found a vertical sequence of symbols inside. A tower that sits atop one of the cinder aisles. The upper floors can only be reached from a second entrance at the back of the tower. I found a slide reel that shows the strangers in heavens opening a secret passage in a round room filled with lanterns and murals. The inhabitants are shown filing into three of these rooms throughout the stranger. 
Cinder Isles. A pair of small rocky islands connected by a village of stilt houses. I found a large metal symbol for the eye of the universe inside a burned out building. A slide reel that shows the strangers inhabitants analyzing the eye of the universe. Several slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. A room full of burned slide reels piled next to a strange device. I found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The lights are extinguished and the figure carries the container down to the dark well. Nothing too surprising so far. A library full of intact slide reels hidden deep underground. There is a container marked with one of the vault's seals, but its contents have been destroyed. I found a slide reel that shows the strangers and have this analyzing the eye of the universe. Intact slides reveal the construction and launch of a spacecraft designed to block the eye's signal, right? The squid. I found a slide reel that shows two artifacts being lit near a green fire. The first artifact lights after its bearer falls asleep, and the second artifact lights after its bearer dies. I wonder if the vision they had of the eye destroying everything was really just the eye doing what it does, which is destroying the universe and creating a new one. Hmm. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows an alarm bell failing to wake up one of the stranger's inheritance. A secluded village nestled... With, I mean, so that doesn't explain as much as I thought it might do. Like, like give away too much. A secluded village nestled within a cove. A candlelit tower sits atop a nearby island. The well at the bottom of the village is guarded by a statue that activates an alarm bell when it sees me. I found the remains of a burned out village, a burned out building on the outskirts of the village. Abandoned temple, marked with a symbol of a burning slide reel. Okay, that would have been explained to me earlier, I guess. It can be accessed from a passage in the hidden gorge. There is an interface upstairs that can be used to line up symbols in a vertical sequence. Entering the correct sequence opens the path to a secret room beneath the temple. I found a slide reel that shows the strangers and habits removing all the slide reels from the shelves, scanning each reel with a device, and incinerating specific slides as well as entire reels. Scanning them? I thought that was them destroying them. Interesting. Projection that seems to reveal a secret location somewhere within the stranger. I wonder why they were scanning them? To like make a copy? But not leave the physical one behind? Projection that seems to reveal a secret location hidden within the thingy. Projection, yeah, secret locations. Yeah, from the stranger. Oh. Wait, why is that still marked? Oh, because that's my marker, yeah. A narrow gorge along... Gorge is the word they use, okay. On the rightmost branch of the river, there are dwellings built into both cliff faces high above. A laboratory with three test chambers. The second chamber is badly damaged can be entered through a hole breach inside the stranger. I saw a vision-like recording of someone picking up an artifact and going to sleep in front of the green fire. The rest of the vision was distorted and difficult to make out, but the flame appeared, seemed to appear inside the artifact. I found a slide reel that shows three experiments conducted with three different artifacts. The third experiment appears to have been a success. Right. A slide reel that shows the strangers... Um, so it's always called the artifact, I guess. A slide reel that shows the strangers' inhabitants congregating around a strange green fire. Several slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. A room full of burned slide reels piled next to a strange device. I found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked with the glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The lights are extinguished, and the figure carries the container into a deep secret passage behind a mural of a large tree. A massive canyon that stretches into the distance. A candlelit lodge is built into the far cliff face. I found a mural of a large tree on the bottom floor of the lodge. Uh. Endless canyon. Massive canyon that stretches into the distance. Candlelit Lodge is built into the far cliff face. Oh, this is the hotel. Right, the endless canyon. <laughs> Library full of intact slide reels hidden deep on the ground. There is a container marked with one of the fault seals, but its contents have been destroyed. I found a slide reel that shows the strangers' inhabitants congregating around a strange green fire. Intact slides reveal the creation of simulated reality modeled after that. Home moon. I found a slide reel. Okay, so that's why they had to simulate it, because their home was gone. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows one of the strangers inhabitants dropping their artifact on the ground and walking beyond its projection radius. I love the the three codes I completely bypassed by using the errors from the virtual world. <laughs> that's so fun. Uh, that's all of them. This is all, yeah, this is all the old stuff. I'm not going to read all that. Uh, I'm okay not seeing what that thing is. I am, however, not okay with the fact that I did not have anything about the mission room. Was the time passing the whole time? Maybe I should, yeah, let's, uh, let's meditate.
I'm not sure if I have time passing in that mode. Ooh, that's not the right button. So, I mean, it was daytime. Time must have been passing because we started night. This is going to be a long clip of me viewing the thing. Yep. <laughs> it must be fun to implement that, actually. I guess it's just taking a screenshot every now and then. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to fly there. I want to see two things. I want to see the squid room. I want to see the mission control room. And what on earth is going on with them. Apparently the squid room has something in it that I didn't know about. I didn't realize. Oh, sorry. Was it the squid that was leaving? Let me just reread that. Let's do this just before I forget. Oh, it changed modes. Uh, so where was the squid stuff? Reservoir, yeah, here. So this one. No. Yes. As soon as it's getting broken connection with a stranger into that craft, I found a projection that shows a stranger, the stranger moving beyond the reach of the thingy above, the supernova. Hey, Quantum Moon. It's sort of in my way. Uh, okay, we're not going to hit you. <laughs> and even if I did hit you, you just disappear. It's fine. Oh man, this game is so good. <laughs> just the way they lock things behind knowledge is so satisfying. <laughs> Like, it is ultimately uh, an adventure game, I suppose. It's an adventure puzzle game. Like, it's it's got the same, you know... Oh, oh in fact, I just remember there's a quick way up to the thing. Um, it's got the same sort of structure as a, you know, as a point-and-click adventure or whatever. Same fundamentals, but does it so much better than most point-and-click adventures do? <laughs> Obviously, this is not point and click, but you know, adventure game in general, because you know most of them suffer from feeling like oh, that the rules are kind of arbitrary or whatever. But nothing here feels like that ever. It's so well designed, and these two new locations were awesome. I guess it was ultimately yeah, like two new locations: the, the this place, the stranger, but also the virtual reality itself. So spooky as well. Oh, this is not where it is, down there. I can't believe how scared I was the entire time. <laughs> okay. It's being projected from above. What are you telling me? What is that? The reach of the supernova? Is this you trying to leave? But why isn't it leaving? Like, wh like what's this doing? Why? Why are the green things opening up? I, does this ever fill up to the end? Like if I st if I come here towards the end of the timeline, how far along is this? I don't understand. I don't know what to take from that at all. Let's go to the other one. Huh. Uh, where am I? Up here. Oh, no, where am I? Oh, oh, let's see. I went up these stairs somehow. It was just too dark. But yeah, it is an absolute masterpiece of a game. And I'm so surprised by how well the DLC turned out as well. I just thought it would be unnecessary and... Well, I thought it might be unnecessary. I mean, it definitely wasn't necessary, but I didn't know whether to expect it to be good or not. Um, and I even said, I think I said at the start, like, if, even if it's bad, I'm going to be still going to think Out of Wilds itself is such a brilliant game. But it, the DLC is just as good. There, um, no, okay, I would say it's almost as good. But like, the main game is like, like, beyond incredible. I'm in the wrong side of everything, aren't I? No, I'm not. It's, it's just over here. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, okay. So this is uh, sun. I flame. That's not the sun. I flame. Okay. What on earth is going on? So this is destroyed. So this is how they would have controlled the squid. Take that. And there's this. So this is saying there's a broken connection. I mean, I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have known that meant a connection. It looks like a path it's following or whatever. But okay, there's a connection broken. I mean, yes, I guess because this is destroyed. Did they destroy it? Maybe they might have burnt it. But you're saying there's something here depicting that leaving the solar system? What? How is there? Oh, no, it's talking about the other room. It's just all under one thing because it's it's just a thing for this area. Yeah, okay, it is talking about the mission room. I just put those two things together because they were next to each other in the list. It's talking about two separate rooms. So they wanted to get outside the supernova, but... I, I don't quite get what that room's about. That's the one missing understanding I think that I have. How did I get here? How did I get here? I was over there before. How did I cross? I walked over and jumped down? I guess so. It's now hard to get back up again, isn't it? Oh, oh, how? Well, now I'm down here. Uh, yeah, I can't really get back up to there. Except I can get in a boat and take that thing. I think I've got time, don't have to worry about the dam breaking. So one more last look at that. But yeah, okay. I mean, I might as well give my thoughts as I'm going. Uh, I've said quite a lot of it, but... Um, <sighs> it's so creative, so imaginative. The way the secrets... Okay, so that's starting right now. So they're opening up. I don't understand what that means. Why is that happening? Why is it happening now? Are they waiting for the supernova to happen? Surely not. Is this a plan to avoid the supernova? If it happens? But they're just not around to like actually do it? They were sitting here watching the sun. So this goes to step two. That's the supernova radius, I guess. So this is what it was talking about. It's talking about this. How do I interpret that? Let's go down the elevator back to the ship log. Um, this way. Elevator's here. Oh, no, 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 come back up. <laughs> Sorry. Now we go down. And just the worlds are so creative. It's so mind blowing. Like everything you go into is like, what am I going to discover here? And it's just an overwhelming sense of like, there's going to be something incredible here every moment. And it never fails to do that. <laughs> there was a part halfway through the game where like, I'd kind of explored the dream bit quite a lot. Um, I wasn't sure, like, how could this get any deeper? Like, what is going on with these spaces? And it turns out those spaces are actually, you know, filled with stuff to do. It's just, uh, I needed to learn the appropriate things to do it. Uh, so what was I looking for? It was... Not here. Not here. Reservoir. This one, yeah. I found the projection shows a stranger moving beyond the reach of the supernova. I don't know what to say about that. Okay, I'm just gonna have to accept that there's something I don't I don't quite get. Um, last thing I want to do. Well, maybe we're gradually moving away. 
Is that why this, I feel like the sun ends up looking smaller? No, it still looks pretty big, doesn't it? You know what I could do? Mm, I was thinking of sleeping next to a fire, but they're quite far away. Or, well, the one that isn't far away will... Yeah, are we moving? Are we moving away? Is that what's happening? Let's just do it, let's just do it. <laughs> oh, no, the fire's not here. Fire's... I don't, I, I don't want this. I specifically do not want this. I just want to go sit next to a fire and not dream. Will I be able to get to... Ah, or whatever. Boat, I don't need you. Um, will I be able to get back to my ship after this? After the dam's broken? Will I? Because I can't get back through there because it'll be flooded. Can I get back into that bit? I think I can. I just have to go all the way around. Um, so maybe I should go and do one of the other fires instead actually. Is that my boat? That might be my boat. Um, can I sleep for like a while? Yeah, because what I want to know is am I moving away from the sun? So if I wait a long time and then go back into the where my ship is and exit, I guess I could also just look out the window. Maybe. Although I'm not sure I trust the window because it's not a window. Okay, let's go up to this one. I wonder if it's set up to stop moving away. Yeah, is that why at the end of the cycle I don't die from the supernova, I die from the end of the time loop? Because we've actually moved far away. I think that might be what's going on. So even once I'm done with this game, I'm like discovering something new, like a new detail. I think that is it, but I should spend the time. Let's see where the sun looks like it is right now. Oh, wrong thing. I don't know if I'm able to see it, it's there. Uh, it looks pretty massive. Where are we? Here we go. Here we go. Get on here not to dream, just to have a nap. Oh, that's not a nap. <laughs> okay. Uh, for how long? I guess will I hear the, the dam break and stuff? This feels like it's not as fast as normal. Probably because it's got a lot to simulate or something. The dam hasn't broken yet. But this is like time going fast, so the dam would break in like fast motion. Let's leave it five. I think. Oh my gosh, it's so slow. <laughs> it's definitely way slower than normal. I guess it's simulating the world faster, and there's just a lot to do in this particular place. But yeah, I assume it just doesn't play the sound. I like all those little green sparks while I'm asleep here. I guess there are red sparks at the normal fire. Never really noticed. Okay, five minutes. So are we, yeah, we're, we're tilted over now, so the dam is definitely broken. How's the sun looking? When did the dam break? Well, within the last five minutes. Can I see the wave still going around? No, it's done. Are we further away from the sun? 
I believe we might be, because I cannot even see it now. Let's sleep a bit longer. I think I figured it out though. I think I've understood. I mean, so I basically interpreted it as that, as like trying to move away. I just didn't realize we were moving away. And I didn't realize that's what was confusing me about it seemed like I was teleporting far away because I think later on in the cycle, I am actually further away just because the stranger has moved, which is pretty interesting. Does that mean it's if you wait later in the cycle and you try and lock onto it, it's like further away as well? <laughs> so many questions. I assume it would. Okay, that explains why I was um, confused about the teleportation, the, what I thought was teleportation. So let's do another five minutes. And at least another like five minutes before the end of the cycle. It should give me enough time to get to where the dam is. Oh! Well, oh, okay, this falls over quite early, doesn't it? Not, whoa, that surprised me. Um, not at the end of the cycle. Okay, let's get to the dam. Oh no, this is the end of the cycle. Whoa, that was surprisingly soon. Okay. Uh, okay. I got time, I got time. I got time. Why am I like lodged on this? Go, 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 go. I got time, I got time. I got plenty of time. Just don't mess anything up. Get to the dam, don't go past the dam though. Go faster, fast. This is quite a long sequence though. So presumably the later I leave this place, the further away from the sun I am. Can I even get up there from here? Uh, how would I do it? Climbing up there? Oh, this looks difficult. I don't know if I can do it. I mean, that looks like an almost climbable set of rocks, but I'm like almost out of time. Oh, this is not going to work. I'd be better off looking if I can see the sun. I'm pretty sure I'm right about this though. Yeah, I'm not going to get up here. I'm just going to die instead. Ah. But yeah, okay. I believe it. I guess I could go out that way. Mm. Oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> I feel like that's the perfect way to end. I'm pretty sure I've understood that properly. It'd be interesting to see if the, the step counter had moved, the step counter, whatever it is, the, if I've moved on to like step three or step four or step five or something. Um, but I'm pretty sure I would have done. Okay, I think that's it. We're gonna end here. Uh, I guess I've given most of my thoughts. Like, I don't know what else to say. It's just, it's easily one of my favorite games ever. So, um, <laughs> it's just brilliant. The music's great. Uh, the environment's fantastic. Just the set pieces and the way they constantly surprise you with imaginative ideas. The way the planets work with the systemic rules of the environment. And then the way the puzzles also do. And the way they hide stuff behind the way that works. Oh, just so many awesome things. And obviously that's all true about the main game, but it's all true about the DLC as well. What's some of the specific things I could say about the DLC? Uh, I mean, I just, I love the way they teased the codes, but then the codes weren't actually a thing. That felt like a joke towards somebody like me who'd be like, oh, codes are a terrible way of gating things. Um, is this, is everything getting dark? I guess the lights turn off. Oh yeah, okay, it's fine. Um, and but yeah, it turned out, no, there weren't codes. There were there was this knowledge to give me access to errors that I could cause in the virtual reality in order to get past the codes in the first place. That's so cool. Um, it was incredibly spooky, but I think it's cool that they've done their own attempt at like what a horror game aspect of Outer Worlds would be like. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm glad that was done. I was on edge way more than I needed to be, but it... I just didn't know that I didn't need to be because I didn't know when scary stuff was going to happen. Uh, I guess ultimately the scary stuff wasn't 
it was kind of like the same thing I had with Subnautica where the fear was more the fear of having to do the thing again rather than like the animation of them grabbing me and then waking me up. Like that was, that kind of ended up being less scary once you'd seen it once or twice. Uh, but I think horror games always have that problem because you don't actually die. <laughs> You've got, you have to, you have to give them some other kind of fear. Um, but I actually quite enjoyed the stealth thing. I just kind of liked that it was like clumsy and everything was dark and I was just running into a corner. It made it feel different to other stealth things I've done in other games. Um, it made it hard. And it, yeah, it made it even more scary in that sense of like losing the time. Um, but, I mean, it was fun and interesting and different and I quite liked it. Um, yeah, I think the virtual reality was like not as exciting of an environment, I guess, just because it was so dark and I couldn't see anything, except when I left the bubble and that was just such a cool thing. It was fun that I discovered that before it taught, was taught to me, um, but I didn't realize how to use it in any interesting way. Obviously it was going to have a use and I almost could have accidentally stumbled across the use, but I fortunately did not. Um, yeah. I mean, just really fantastic. Yeah, like I said, I at first I would have been like, oh, I hope they make something different at Seven Hours Wells too. Now I'm like, no. Just move to another solar system, do something unique there. I would love to see more planets. They've shown that they can clearly just keep coming up with interesting ideas. I mean, maybe at some point it would start repeating itself. I don't know. But yeah, I, I, the other thing is I love how they gate stuff behind things that the player wouldn't do because it's such a silly thing to do. Why would you kill yourself on the fire? Why would you, um, you know, you wouldn't go explore under all the water. Uh, why would you, why would you put down your, uh, your lantern and walk away from it in such a dark place? You wouldn't, except I did, but I was just being silly, I guess. Um, it's just such a fun way to gate things. I wonder what would happen if you came into the game and thought, well, if I just do everything I'm clearly not supposed to do, would it ruin a lot of the surprises? I don't know. Anyway, okay. Really fantastic. Loved it. I can't believe how much content there was as well. That was like, I don't know how many hours that took me. That might have been like half the time of the actual game. <laughs> Something like that. Um, yeah, fantastic. No idea what I'm playing next. It surely won't be as good as this. How could it be? <laughs> but I'm sure it'll be brilliant anyway. I mean, maybe it will be, we'll see. I, yeah, it's a long time away until I actually start playing something new um, from, from my actual recording time, not the time the video goes out, whatever. Um, yeah, okay, had a great time. Thanks for watching.